Howdy folks, I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade, and hopefully I'm doing a little better than the last episode in this episode of Fear Files. I'm going to heal up here because I'm really low on health. Reload my shotgun here and go through this clear door. I need to hurry because Alma said so. Why am I listening to Alma? I'm really not sure. Let's see, my other option is to deal with Fatel. Oh boy, I just can't wait. Alright, there's a computer here. A phone with no nothing on it. Is this paper important? Nope. Alright. Office over here. Like or oh hey. Grenades, even though I'm still full. Red kit. Armor. Now who's telling me to hurry? Was that Jankowski? Because that was a male voice that time. And it wasn't the creepy it wasn't the creepy Fatel voice. Go through this door. Oh good, there's a phone call with a message on it. I don't worry about the pistols. Let's see what this uh, phone call is. See how short this is. Jenny, it's John. Stay where you are. I'm coming to you. All right, then. I bet he didn't make it. All right, this is a little further t range here, so I wonder if I can utilize this. Ouch, somebody else using one. All right, those two guys are down. I got hit with the got hit with a particle rifle, but uh, I responded quickly, so it looks like that's it. Back to the shotgun. Let's go ahead and reload this while I got a moment here, and then go back to this, and hopefully jump and make it. Yeah, because I'm much higher now. <laughs> if I fall now. It's definitely gonna, I'm definitely going to die. All right. Eh. Again, charred body. <laughs> Love how the particle rifle does that. <laughs> And there's a particle rifle. Thank you for the ammo. All right, itch here. Who really builds a building like this? I mean, this just looks like a dangerous. This just looks like dangerous uh, <laughs> architecture. <laughs> architecture. Too much chance of people falling and well dying, like I did. Okay, what was that? What, uh... You will have a choice to make. You are near the time when you will have to stop running. Am I going to deal with the creepy twitchy thing over there? I still can't use my light. The doors are gone. There's now a wall behind me. That twitchy thing is going to freak me out when I get near it. I'm going to go over here toward the toward the elevator. I'm not going toward the creepy twitchy thing. I'm going to continue going toward the elevator, and I'm going to continue to ignore the creepy twitchy thing. Oh, shit. It's a dark room with a little blue eye thing in it. So what do I do? Go to the blue eye, or go to the creepy twitchy thing? <sighs> Fuck. Well, if I go toward the blue light, I might have to deal with lots of creepy things. But if I go toward the, cre the creepy twitchy guy, there's only one creepy, creepy twitchy guy. Okay, good. Creepy twitchy guy's disappeared. I'll just ignore that then. Jen oh fuck! I went not to see these guys. God damn it! Go away! Go away! Go away! Nice song. Shut up, you! Ha 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 ha! I'm still in creepy mode because I can't use my flashlight. What the hell? Is that another creepy thing? I can't hardly... I can't tell for sure. I think that's another creepy thing. It looks like Fatel. Yeah, that's another creepy thing. It's head twitching like crazy. <sighs> oh, here's the back side of the... Uh, another... I guess I just can't go in here. I don't know. Should I... Uh, oh, God damn it. Do I... <laughs> I gotta deal with creepy things regardless. If I go toward the blue thingy or toward the, the twitchy creepy thing. 
Twitchy, creepy thing spawns creepy things that I don't like. Fuck it. Okay. I didn't realize a blue light was going to take me to a room of safety. At least it feels like a room of safety. Okay, somebody's seriously in pain out here. I heard screaming. And it didn't feel it didn't sound like a comfortable happy screaming either. Ooh. That's blood. That's bad. I hope by making my decision I didn't uh get Jen killed. I don't see that being possible considering she still appears in uh, Fear Three. Oh good. Creepy things two point are out here. And they're not disappearing. Okay, good. Now they're disappearing. That looks like a gin from here. Gin? She is most definitely dead. Okay. There is some storyline issues, storyline holes here. Oh, now that is just really creepy. Look at her shadow on the floor. Oh, God, that flash of light comes on. That sh uh, her Jen's shadow is just really creepy. I'm going to go around that now. I wonder if by going through that blue door I actually got her killed, or if I had followed the creepy thing, if I had not. I have no idea. Because he did say, because Fatel did say I had a choice. I wonder if I've made a wrong choice. <laughs> oh well, it's too late now. I don't think a Phoenix Down is going to bring her back. Let's heal up and grab another one of those. Can't open that door. No, don't guard the door. There they are. Ow. Got him. You guys don't need backup. You guys just need to come out here where I can see you. So I can snipe you. Kind of like this. Only two? Nope, three. There's the other one. That was kind of a reaction shot. I just saw him there and pulled the trigger. No more? Alright, reload. Go pick the shotgun and let's keep going. Alright. Time to make another jump. We Made it. Okay. I hear a turret. All right, screw that. I'll just go this way. There's turrets in this room. I'm sure of it. Oh, he's got, he's got a laser gun there. Well, that's just foul language. Splattered him. Oh, there's the turret. Can't see the turret from the smoke. Got him. Did I get the turret? Yeah, I got the turret. There's one guy over here. Smoke will clear. I can probably nail the next guy. As the upper half of the guy I shot a minute ago who had the laser. It takes two shots to die. Okay. As long as they die, I don't really care how many shots. All right. Heal and stand up. And listen to the recording. Hi, sweetheart. Uh, just checking in. The explosion's all over the news, and I just want to make sure you're okay. 
Yeah, since the messages in the first one were useless enough, these in the these one in the fear files are absolutely useless. <laughs> They've topped the level of uselessness. It's just, hey, I hope you I hope you're okay. I came to check on you. I was just calling and check on you. You heard explosions. Everything okay over there? Are you all right? I'm coming to I'm coming to get you. Stay where you are. I got names like J uh, John and I think Jenny or whatever I said earlier. Oh, Longshoreman Digest. Okay. Open door. Open door. Open door. Thank you. Frame rate gone to hell for a moment. Ah, crap. Oh, no. Our helicopter buddy's back. What the hell do I do? Okay. I view the outside again. A little teaser because you never get to go out. You never actually, to, never actually get to go outside from those parts. Next area. Interval 05 extraction point. Malignancy part one. Situation: You have reached Auburn Medical Hospital alone. Jin Sun Kwan is dead. No contact has been made with SFOD units for quite some time. Status of extraction point is unknown. Locate the, life, locate the life flight elevator and take it to the extraction point on the hospital roof. I have no uh, tips or anything underneath that. That's kind of that's kind of concerning. Checkpoint. Well, Jin is dead, so now I'm curious how he she is alive and fi uh, she's alive in Fear Three. Locate the life flight elevator. That's supposed to be like uh, Care Flight, but they couldn't use Care Flight because it's trademarked. Oh no. Okay, maybe that was just a tease. Maybe I'm not going to have to deal with any invisible guys. Or worse. Patient 25J. <laughs> Please tell me 20, patient 25J was uh, Mapes. <laughs> Just so I can laugh at the fact that his chips are still here, but he but he didn't survive. All right, nothing in the bathroom here. Forty-two F. All right, nothing here. Nothing here. Okay, so far my, all my exploration has been a waste of time. Exam room one just opened by itself. Okay, creepy invisible thing yeah, is creeping me out. Well, let me use the bathroom uh, so I can, that way I can actually make sure when I, they do scare me, I don't actually soil myself. How about the ladies' room? Can I go in there? Oh, I can. Wow, just as clean as the man's room. What a surprise. I can't get in here. What the hell? I can't get in this room. <laughs> uh, I found a bug. I can't get in this room. Nope, still can't get in this room. Okay, I don't want in there anyway. I'm going to get jumped. I just know it. Oh, good. At least I can still hear the replica soldiers. Oh, look. Oh, you lost a leg, buddy. That explosion was big. Crap. There we go. I'll sp blew him up. 
That's one way to make sure they're dead is when they their body explodes. Alright, can't get past all this. This is all junk. So you got plenty of ammo left. Checkpoint. That's always good. Pharmacy. Alright. Heal up. Grab the, uh, grab the health pack. <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing in here I can use. Nope. Okay. Open sesame. Grenade. Really? Miss with a grenade. That's unbreakable glass. Throw a grenade at that door. We all going, huh? We all going. Huh? Huh? I can do that too. I can teabag too, see? I see you. Come blam. You wanna go with him? You wanna go with him? And first aid kit. That was just funny. <laughs> kind of teasing him through the door through the window. Ah! Damn it. Wrong side. Alright. Yeah, I gotta be kind of surprised at how well they're how well armored they are. If they can take a shotgun to the chest at point blank range, they just kind of lean, they just kind of either fall over or just get knocked backwards a couple of steps. That's gotta be some badass body armor. Shit. I have such a bad habit of doing that. Alright, just check on everyone in the room. Ouch, he kicked me. Alright. Nobody else out there? Her seed kit. Heal. Grenade. Blow those two guys up. Seek in here. Oh, hi, guy. Ow, he kicked me. He lost his body. Or lost his upper half. Oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Heal. Grenade, heal. Damn it, that's somebody close. Fuck. They're getting me off from all sides. That's why I'm losing so much health so quickly. We're down to three health packs now. up a dead body. <laughs> all right, any, can I go back for some any health packs I might have missed? I don't think I probably missed very many, if any at all, because as low as I am, I kind of need every one of them. All right. I just came out of here. So where should I be going? This door is locked. Kills these guys in here. I'm backtracking now because I recognize the... Uh, oh, hey, health pack. There we go. Okay. Yeah, because I recognize these things here. Those uh, things on the wall. So, where do I need to go now? Okay, here we go. Here's a new area. Armor. And open up the door. Nothing coming through. Okay. Oh, good. More shotguns. Nice. Crap. 
Maybe I spoke too soon. Nothing? Or is it going to spook me? It's really dark in here. Don't like dark. Dark is bad. Okay. Pop it over this. Oh. Not going back. Well, this guy is, uh, dead. Moving chairs. Yeah, okay. Uh, nothing in here of interest. Yeah, surgery. Uh -huh. Yeah, not going in there yet. Alright, lots of dead bodies everywhere. About to get really creepy. Not creeped out yet. I'm lying out my ass. I'm very creeped out. So is this my... Nice. That one has no legs. None of them have actually have legs. They actually have lost all their lower legs. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. I want to go back to the surgery wing. I don't know why. Oh, that was a short trip. To the el to these stairs I go, following the creepy guys with no legs. Yay for me! How do I get over there? That's a fall that's going to kill me. Can I make that jump? Hmm. Okay. And a one, and a two, and a let me think about it just a second more. Anything up there? Hmm. All right, and one, uh, two. Oh, wait a minute! I want to think. I want to just want to think about this a second longer. Okay, I'm really gonna go this time. I'm really gonna go this time. Damn it! I wish it was closer to the end of the episode. I did a real cliff good cliffhanger right here. <laughs> here it goes. Hank, I made it. Oh, yeah. Made that look easy. Which way do I go now? Up or down? The creepy things went down, so I should probably go up. So I don't want to go where the creepy things went. So we're going to go up. Hey, hey, health booster and a minigun. Um, hmm. Do I drop my shotgun, my sniper rifle, or my auto rifle for the minigun? Minigun will go dry once I use it up, though, because once I use it up, it's not going to be... I don't, I don't, I'm not going to reload it very often because it seems to be a very rare, very rare weapon. So I guess I'll go without it for now. Um, we There we go, okay. Out of this ladder. I guess I am going down where the creepy guys went. Yay for me. Oh, shit. I think I stepped off somewhere I shouldn't have, but at least I survived it. Hurt a little, but I survived. Okay, good thing I stopped where I did. Holy crap. Maternity ward. Oh, this is not making me feel any better. Checkpoint. I can go back in the elevator. Okay. 
Forward we go. Mushing on. Dead guy in, inside that area. Mm hmm. What am I looking at? Is that a twitchy person? It looks like a twitchy person holding a baby. It's not going to be what it is when I get over there, though. I guarantee you that. Still there. I'm gonna go around the corner. I'm gonna go around the, this 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 window is blocked off because when I go around the corner, she's gonna disappear. Uh, oh shit! All the lights went. That probably would have jump scared me if I'd been a little bit closer to the window. Good thing I wasn't. Uh, lights? Can I, uh, can I go in there? You know what? I don't want to go in there. Nah, I don't want to go in there. No intention, no in desire to go in there at all. Not at all. Instead, I'm going to go in this room where I feel much safer. <clears throat> um, this printer just printed out something. Is that some guy's butt? This thing printing out a picture of some guy's butt. That's just wrong. Alright, got more health packs. Nothing else to do in this room. The printer just exploded. I guess they got tired of printing out people's, some guy's butt. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I saw that climb. I don't know what climbed in there, but I saw that. Not feeling any better about this. Feeling a lot worse, actually. Panels falling from the ceiling. The dread is getting the dread is here, but the scares are starting to disappear. I'm getting a little irritated now. Okay. I see the invisible guy run away. Is it something going to attack me or not? I really shouldn't be asking that question. Back through this room again past that thing. One of those kind of rooms again. I don't know if that's surgery or whatever. Uh, patient 56B, janitorial. Oh, Jesus! Whatever that is, tell me it's not close. Ugh. Okay. Can we go in here? Nothing interesting here. I guess the doors will be closed. Yeah, that's right. You can't get me. Fuck you. Doors are stronger than you. Apparently. Hope so. I'm going to go in here now. Alright, up here. Another fan. Some more dead blood. Oh, more dead blood as opposed to a live blood, right? <clears throat> That's where that guy just jumped up here that start started me a moment ago. Here's what's left of him. 
I could make a disarm joke there, but I think I'm not going to do that. And I could go down here. But I don't know if I've been in that room and if there's any point to going down there. It looks like once I go down, I wouldn't be able to get back out unless I went back in the direction. Okay. There's two ways here. I can go down this way. Or go down this way. Okay, nothing in here. I'm only really coming across very little as far as uh, I. Oh, okay, I'm on the other side now. Okay. Door still won't open. Okay, patient 42F. This is the other side of where I dropped down in? Yeah, I would have dropped down over here. Okay. Alright. So now you go over here. X ray room. Okay. Nothing in here. Appreciate to be able to explore again, but I'd like some you know, some kind of fruitful worth of exploration, like finding out if there's something in there, like items, like healing packs, or grenades, or weapons, or ammo, or. Oh, shit. I'm not going to turn around. I'm not falling for that again. There's a creepy... There's something behind me. I just know it. Making a creepy noise. I'm not turning around. I'm not doing it. I'm going to go through this creepy door. I'm not going to turn around. Okay, it's just the dripping of the blood up here. That's what that noise was. Well, found the guy who was making the butt, the butt scanner on the printer. Obviously, he's unaffected by gunfire from here. And he vanished. Oh, good. More pictures? More butt pictures? Yep, more butt pictures. Well, at least we found the culprit of the guy making the butt pictures. Oh, there's his buddy over there. Who vanished just as quickly. Can't go through this door. Waiting room. Alright. Okay. I really got a bad feeling that big, big, big scares are about to hit the... About to, about to hit the there's just some bad shit about to happen. I mean, really bad shit. And we'll explore that really bad shit in the next episode of Fear Files. I also have a getting pretty close to the end. Because um, this, chat, this, inter this interval is actually called Extraction Point, And that's the name of this particular DLC package. So I got a feeling we're probably pretty close to the end here. So, But we'll see. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the links at the end of this video for more of my stuff. And thanks so much for watching. I'm Score, the Crimson Renegade. I'll see you later.